Hello my fellow gamers, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got another part of Plants vs. Zombies for you guys. In the last episode, we unlocked the Hypno Shroom, the, um, the Frost Shroom, and the Doom Shroom. Now in this episode, we are going to be spelling out Doom for these zombies with the Doom Shroom. You guys will be seeing that at the end of the episode, but it's a freaking awesome turnout. Like, the zombies don't even know what hit them. They, they're just all dead within a matter of seconds. That very last onslaught at the end of this level, they don't even know what hit them. It's freaking insane. So I really hope you guys stick around for that. But anyways, just set up our defenses as normal. The sun supply in the back the defenses in the second, third, fourth, and maybe even fifth columns, and the zombies will not get through. Guaranteed. And, this ha episode happens to be episode 10, which, well, we get through two levels in this episode, and we're halfway through the game already. So, by approximately episode 20, 21, maybe 22, we will be done with this Let's Play, aside from the extra parts. There's probably going to be about 10 to 11 extra parts for the mini games and um, the challenge modes and all that kind of stuff. But um, we're halfway through the game, guys, already. That's insane to think. I didn't think that we were halfway through the game already. I never really thought about it. But that's a good thing, because that means after this one's done, we can move on to another game. So that's pretty cool. The next game, if I, if I can figure out how to record it, it might be Five Nights at Freddy's, or, um... Now oh, let's see, what other games do I have? Um, I can actually check real quick. See what other games I have to record. Um, I've got Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 4. I've got... I've got a few games on Steam. I don't really play online games that much. I've got Maple Story. I've got Cubic Castles. Um, that's pretty much it. But, don't worry guys, I will find something for us to do another Let's Play on. I definitely will. But, we don't have to worry about that for a while. So, anyways, just keep powering through the level as normal. Um, set up your defenses in rows like I do. Or you can be completely messed up and have a bunch of random layouts just to make the game more challenging and fun. the levels are starting to drag on now. In the third world, the levels are going to go my go by much faster and they're going to be much more fun. So we won't really have to deal with this slowness of these first two worlds. We won't have to deal with it. Alright, here comes the Doom Shroom, just annihilates every zombie. Well, except for that Conehead, because he lived somehow. And as you can guys as you guys can see, on the right side there is a big crater in the ground. We cannot plant plants on top of that, but um, it will regenerate eventually. It just takes a little bit, but if you're going to place a Doom Shroom, just always place it in the front, because you're never going to have plants up in the front, unless it's a um, walnut or something like that. But I don't use walnuts at all, they're just kind of useless. So, yeah, just always kind of keep them in the front, and you'll never have to 
deal with anything like that. Alright, well anyways, that's the first onslaught done. Now the zombies are just going to start coming two at a time again. Um, three, four maybe. Use that frost shroom to freeze the zombies. Use our beautiful shining shovel to dig up these fume, or no, not fume shrooms, um, puff shrooms in the front. Use them to, use that to dig them up so we can make room for more fume shrooms. Because, let's face it, they are more helpful than puff shrooms. Much more helpful. If you guys hear any noise in the background, don't mind it. It's just random background noise. Well, heck, we've got this stupid frickin' whirling fan, so what can be worse than that? Nothing, really. The fan is the worst thing. Like, it's bad in the YouTube video, I know, but in, like, real life, sitting in my room right now with this frickin' fan whirling, it's the most annoying thing ever. Trust me, it doesn't just annoy you guys, it annoys me also. Just powering through the level, almost done. Very, very close to the end of this level. Alright, and here comes the giant onslaught. Now, we are ready to use the giant doom shroom to annihilate all these zombies. I think. Yeah. There they go. All of them dead except for two zombies. All the zombies met their doom at the exact same time from the doom shroom. The doom shroom is a boss in itself. And now, as you guys can see, we get a letter. So, let's read that real quick. Hello, we would like to visit for a midnight snack. How does ice cream and brain sound? Sincerely, the zombies. Which, they can't spell. They're stupid. They can't, they can't spell. And, plus, their writing is just terrible. A little lag there. I'm not really sure what that's from. But, um... Now we get to the- oh my gosh. What happened to the recording? Alright, now it should be back to normal. Um, don't mind that little lag spike, guys. That was my fault. It was my computer running background things, I think. But, um, anyway, the zombies cannot spell for anything. They replace their S's with Z's, so that's kind of weird. And the zombies are actually going to get through our defenses for a quick second here. Yeah, this zombie is just going to eat his way through because of the scaredy shroom. I try to blow him up, but it doesn't work. So, um... Yeah, whatever. He gets through, we lose a lawnmower. It's not too big a deal. But anyways, you're going to want to save the Frost Shrooms, the Doom Shrooms, and the Hypno Shrooms 
because those will come in, ha in handy later. Those will be very useful later. Yeah, those guys will be our savior later on. Like, at the end of this level, the zombies meet their doom, same as the ones in the last level. So, that's really, really, really cool. So now that we've got a more solid defense, the zombies aren't going to get through anymore. That was just a mistake at the beginning because I put down a scaredy shroom instead of anything else. And the zombie came a little faster than I anticipated. So he got through and wasted one of our lawnmowers, but that's not too bad of a thing, really. Yeah, that won't really affect us too bad. Anyways, we're going to start putting down a column of fume shroom- er, my gosh, I'm messing up these names, seriously. Um, hypno shrooms. We're going to start putting down a line of those. For any zombies that try to get through, they will eat them, turn back on the zombies, and start eating their way through the line until they're dead, just to help us out a little bit. Not like we need the help, but our plants will need all the help they can get, I guess. Yeah, now when we get to this point, the defense is more, like, erratic and just randomly, randomly placed now that we have three columns. That's really all we're gonna get, to be honest. Um, just scaredy shrooms and two fume shrooms. The rest of the plants will just be kind of erratic and irregular in the fourth column. Anyway, the football zombie's gonna eat the fume shroom, and I just call it a fume shroom. It's a hypno shroom. There we go. Um, he's gonna eat his way through the zombies until they're all dead and just walk off screen. Pretty helpful plant when you're actually able to use him. We're gonna get some screen door zombies hypnotized so they can eat the plant, or so they can eat the zombies. I'm messing up on names today. Like, really, this is getting bad. Doom for all who oppose us. AKA the zombies. They're really the only ones that are opposing us. Because zombies suck. We've got two disco zombies, which are not really gonna do anything, to be honest. They're just kind of there. Just blow them all up. Alright, we are nearing the end of the level. Very, very soon. Let's freeze all these zombies. Place down a few more plants just to make our defenses as hard as they possibly can. Or, well, as hard as they possibly can be for the zombies to get through. And place down a few... Er, wow. A hypno shroom to stop that football zombie. We're gonna place down another hypno shroom to stop the second zombie. I actually got it right that time. But we're just gonna blow them all up. And if you guys notice at the top, I'm saving two Doom Shrooms for the end of the level. You guys will see that very, very soon. Because it's a great, 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 great turnout. There we go, let's hypnotize that football zombie. Yeah, you guys always want to hypnotize the football zombies. Always, no matter what. They are one of the strongest zombies in the game, and 
they will just plow through a row of zombies like they're nothing if you hypnotize them. Just clear out the last few zombies with a doom shroom, and I've got that doom shroom ready for the bottom and the top. Let's blow them all up. Isn't it so beautiful? And with that, we get a new plant, the lily pad. This allows us to plant on water, which you guys will see the layout of that in a few seconds, actually. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the content and the commentary, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe. You can also follow us, follow me on the links below on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.